What do you mean we we never seen Kojima's silent mode? But yeah, I, I actually watched um, a playthrough of Silent Hill 2 because Vines was one of my favorite streamers I played this year. Oh, it was cancelled. Oh, that sucks. And I really knew that Silent Hill 2 was really good, but I never watched it or played it. And after that, I, I started loving it so much. Like, I guess I'm gonna play it someday. Almost there. Just, just a tiny bit off from the 333. Just think that once I could not see beyond. Yeah, right? turn around but it's fine It's fine. Like our games, but I'm ashamed to admit there is a few times Luigi's matches put me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know, I don't I remember almost anything about game. Luigi's Mansion. Nor am I. And it's kind of weird because I played that game a lot when I was young. Uh, 
Like, I remember beating that game like five times in a row. Because th there was some kind of uh, New Game Plus stuff, I think. Either that or just the save kind of carried some kind of information. I don't remember. But I don't remember the game at all. It's kind of weird. Sneak until the middle of the room. Just a little. Scene. Now last traps. I almost run into the attack of the zombie. They also sneak a little bit there. Just a little bit, enough to get the perfect timing for those knives or traps, whatever. And you can save this guy. And recover your your sword, but it's too slow. And you don't need the sword anyway. So we're just gonna leave him to die. Sneak a little bit there, so you don't get shot. Stay here. Don't stop in the night. Blades, rather. And this should be enough. Yeah. We get our stamina back here. Discussing Ah, uh, that was pretty stupid time on this part and it's fine management was really bad here.
Really? Whoa. Oh. He didn't expect that. I was expecting to lose time. Oh, that's, that's great. I didn't need to equip that. Not like it matters, but... Why are the well, must play research, GameCube games? It is Oof. apparent that the endeavors. Uh, very arbitrary question, but if you ask, yeah, depends it in what you're into. That's that's the best answer, basically. But if you ask like mines, my list, that this one. Uh, I guess Millie. Devil's work. I'm into good Should games. Okay, so this one is much melee. You have proven what we have feared the most. Um, it's case of Arcadia Legends. If you haven't played it on Dreamcast, PSO Fantasy Star Online. If you haven't played on Dreamcast too, uh, I guess the classics: Fire Sunshine, Wind Waker. Uh, what else? I feel like I'm missing very important stuff. Resident Evil 1 Remake is pretty good. Absolutely, I agree with that. Don't collect the blue coins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just beat the game. Game is fun. But not 100%. Unless you're like really into collectathons. I'm definitely missing some stuff. I can technically watch on my on my games boxes here. See why I'm missing. Oh, that's pretty bad. This is the worst fight ever. My goodness. Whatever. Yeah, that's the one where you have that water jetpack. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good one. Paper Mario. Is it that one is exclusive though? The Metal Gear Solid? Because I, I was I wanted to say Splinter Cell, but that it's on several platforms. It's exclusive, oh, okay. Then yeah, it's a it's a pretty good one. Hehehe. <laughs> 
Yeah, don't worry, Frank. I hadn't played too. I have just seen some playthroughs of it. But I, I've never played uh, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, some people like Tales of Symphonia too. I personally don't like it too much. But that's just me being too impatient. Because I tried to play once. And I couldn't get through more of one hour because I was too impatient of something. Because I feel like not a lot happened on that first hour. But I bet the game is better than that. I was just probably just too impatient. It's always gonna be there. So you just have to be ready to open the door to get it rid of it. Got body block. Oh my god, I can't believe I forget this. Uh, Frank, uh, the two Metroid Primes. Those are must. Those games are so freaking good. Yo! What are you doing, Corket Fever? Welcome. Yeah, finally back. I'm a little bit late though. Because there's just so much heat here. I just can't stream uh, early. It's too much for me. The temperature in my room is, is pretty high in general in summer. Alright, didn't lose a lot of time. Twitch Primes, <laughs> no, Metroid Primes, Metroid Primes, 1 and 2, uh, what do we have, yeah, it's confused, yeah, if, if you like, um, uh, motion controls, you can go for Trilogy, I didn't need to do this right now, whatever, Yeah, Soul Calibur 2 is a good fighting game. It has Link on it. Is that the one that has Link? I think it is. It should be, right? Yeah, Metroid Prime 1 and Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Those two are pretty good. Dreams. Modern psychology of and yeah, Baden Kaidos is a card RPG, also pretty good. I just play a little bit of it though. Because I never had it. I just played one of a friend that I have. Also, one of the longest speedruns out there. Baden Kaidos. 100% might be the longest speedrun on speedrun.com at least like 340 hours if I remember correctly
Yeah, I never played Animal Crossing. That's one of the series I, I just never tried. I know a lot of people love it, so I guess it's pretty good. Like, it, it can be bad, really. <laughs> but... But yeah, I just haven't tried it. Like when you when you was younger, oh, I see. Oh, there's also the other Zelda, uh, Twilight Princess. If you're not into motion controls, I I recommend play Twilight Princess on GameCube. <laughs> Zero is for race game and Kirby's. I hadn't played a lot of Kirby's. Is that one like adventure game or some other kind of? Yeah, that's true. But you have to deal with motion. I mean, like different controls. So I guess it depends on taste. I personally like GameCube controller or classic controller more. about that uh, that uh, what's it called genre I mean I only I only know like Ma uh, Mario Kart and I guess Crash Team Racing that's like the only ones I can think of as racing party games I hope I'm not too far away. And it should be okay. Yeah, that's fine. So I got those two cutscenes together. It's the only thing that matters at the end of that part. Oh yeah, pick me. So many games, right? Oh, uh, there is a... Oh, fuck you, fuck you. This sucks. Come on, dude. I hate this. That sign epic sucks. That door was never closed. Are you gonna wait? Okay, everything's 
everything's fine, everything's fine. There was the risk of being weak at that part after they all look at me. But I have just enough health. covers like the most important games Oh, such a time loss. She didn't work on it. It's, it's like dinner. But it's not exactly dinner. It's it's like... Uh, what do you have between dinner and lunch? Not all the countries have something there. There is a meal between dinner and lunch. It's like taking a tea. Like a cup of tea or something like that. Luncheon. Yeah, I guess that. Uh, that is Onse. On Chile. Just like the number 11. Is written the same way. Spelled the same way. I will not argue that I was shocked. But by wait the a minute, Frank. Isn't it a little bit late to take in Anse? No, actually, it's fine. We Chileans are, are pretty late in general, so it's, it's, it's alright. Nope. Oh my god, I'm making so many little mistakes. I forgot to eat, I see. Yeah, in English is once. Like once, twice. And all that shit. So that's, that's like a common... Common thing that happens. Once upon a time, exactly. I'm pretty sure there are more words like that on Spanish or on Chilean even. Words that are have different meaning but are the same word.
Yeah, between Brickfast and Lunch's Brunch, yeah. With that one I... Yeah, that's kind of, of... That is something, as Frank says, because we have this, this thing, which is Takiro, which is between, let's say... It's between I like you and I love you. But there's not like a specific term in English. Because I love you is, is way too much in Spanish. I love you is te amo, actually. But I like you in Spanish is, is something like uh, me gustas. Fucked up, I think. Yep. Whatever. I still have one bullet. Yeah, I love you, dude, but not that much. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can get the next skip This can't be happening So I reload and I try to get this spell No, not that one Whatever. <laughs> What's meant to do is spell number one. Enter by Anyhow. So I can get that spell done. At the same time I I touch that cutscene and that way I don't lose time doing that spell. Shots for the gu guardian. Save me even more. Okay. I don't know if I sh should consider that a time loss or not. Because you can cast Reveal Invi Invisible on the first room you are at. But the problem is, when you do that, you still have to wait a little bit to open the door. Because if you open the door immediately, uh, you will... Like, the Reveal Invisible effect won't, won't apply if you are too fast. 
The ancients' influence was incredible. So maybe it takes about the same time doing it that, like, after that room or... I do the cats, cats cancel before. I, I still don't know. It's kind of hard to time that. I spoke with a native Japanese speaker. Had a lot of different words for love. The English only has one. <laughs> yeah, it happens with a lot of, of languages on different concepts though like you have this this thing like inuits schemas have like seven words or maybe more but i heard that they have like seven ways of saying white because they they live in a place that there's so much white that you need to describe different kinds of white So we get this bracelet and we're gonna trick this thing with a stone bracelet to open those doors, go straight here in the traps, almost straight, and then kill this zombie. Here, walk by the left side, and you should be okay. Yeah, I agree with that. English is pretty heavy on adjectives and verbs. Yeah, and Spanish is pretty hard on on time tenses. We have so many tenses. It's kind of crazy. Shield is to prevent side loss. You usually cast that before entering this room, but I guess that works. Too, too much because I actually forgot that I was able to do that so I still cast another shield before that but 
I did save a little bit of time because I recovered one of my shields. One of those three spears. So it's fine. Could have been better, but it's fine. He's kind of tired. I was matching star there. Which has 12 tenses, but we only use like 3. Yeah, I would say like 5 maybe. Like some of them you don't notice that you use them. In Spanish the same thing happens. People think that they use like 3 too, but they actually use a lot of them. They just don't notice it. Because you don't always pay attention to what you're saying. From a technical perspective, let's say. You just say it. But yeah, Spanish is it's kinda crazy. Uh, how many tenses do we have? It, it's a lot. Maybe like 30? Oh, these are time loss. Sucks so much. Why are you so tired, Lindsay? Why are you so tired? Oh my goodness. Oh, you are. No. I don't get it. I thought he was weak. Same time you touch that thing, but it's really precise. I'm so bad. I'm ready to lose time on this split. That's way too many, right? Yeah, maybe that's too much. Maybe I exaggerated a little bit. But I don't feel like counting them right now. Still a goal. Okay, now I need this spell. Really? Oh, fuck you. Well, let's cast this. 
in the meantime. So, chances are that you're gonna run into, into sanity effects during Alex's chapter. And you, you will always lose time there, but there's some stuff you can do as a backup to kind of save a little bit of time. Uh, there are some spells that remain even when you are on, on Sanity FX. Just some of them. One of them is Mana Pool, and the other is Shield. During the time of the Inquisition. So... Sorry. Later on, there is like one or two parts we of Alex where you can run out of stamina. So actually having the pool activated is not that bad. And you just have to do something while you are on the, the signing effect, so So something you should never do on a sanity epic is recover sanity or health because those don't remain. Also the spells remain on all the Alex parts. Like I'm gonna have that pool on the next Alex parts. I could actually cast it a cell double. That's kind of useful. It helps on your signing. So no need for pools at the beginning of this chapter because you recover all your stamina after that cutscene. We're gonna need a pool later though, in just a moment. We have to run just too much. We're gonna need it from around here. You know, I kind of thinking if I can save time, can I save time using the torch against Anthony instead of the mace? I wonder. If I lose this run, I'm gonna test that. Please, someone re remember me that. Remind me that. If I happen to lose this run. That's its potential time save, I guess. See Anthony immediately. Is it the character we use on chapter three? He's still here, waiting for you.
And if you cancel all your attacks, uh, you should be you should have at least one shield at the end of this battle. Like that. That's pretty good. And the reason we go Anthony before going up is because that way we're never going to bunk into the monk. Because the monk always spawns at the same place. Down to the basement. Michael Attack. It's important to react there. You cannot always just run down. Because. Ah, uh, that sucks. Where? That disco was a mistake, but whatever. It's fine. saying uh, you have to react to the position of the trapper uh, right there at that time the trapper was going up towards me and if you just run immediately down you might get caught even if you cast a magical attack so sometimes you just have to react and sneak a little bit or just walk And that's to avoid both damage, but the most important thing is avoid sanity effects, because you can lose a lot of time due to those. You can lose like up to 30 seconds in just a single sanity effect. If, if there is one of the nasty ones. One, one, there's some side effect that you can't really cancel. So you just have to see them entirely. Paul is getting tired. Yeah, he's tired. get that later. Uh, 
I will say this chapter is the most backtracky one. You gotta backtrack a lot on this chapter. suspected Augustine all along. I should have this full until I get my new spells. So then I can do another a fight pool. I think a three pool might be enough. No, actually, I need, I need a five pool. was amazing. So that's one of the hard menus on this run. There's that one and there's the the other one on Peter's chapter. It's basically the same kind of stuff here. The same stuff we but we seven seven spells. Or level 7 spells, let's say. I think it's one of the things that takes the most practice in the run. Just getting used to the menuing. I finally get it more neat. There's a couple of extra zombies here. I feel like it, I skipped the text there. If you're lucky enough with that magical attack, those two will be out of your way. At that time I was still lucky. I was like one hit away from getting them out of the way. But yeah, sometimes they just completely block you, and it really sucks. That, that magical attack helps, but it doesn't guarantee that. Uh... Alright. So 20, 20, 3 seconds was just menuing. Just faster menu. That wasn't me. That was I Alex acting on their own.
much has been written about the exploits of conquerors. All right, Roberto. The other slow character of the cast, along with Max. He's tired, but, but he's going to reco recover stamina during that little cutscene there. And all these lever cutscenes, actually. No side effects, that's pretty good. Well, there's one actually. There's a bug in the screen. And there's more. That's a very good side effect. Because it doesn't make you lose any time. Probably the best one. the dead. Oh, I didn't activate it. That sucks. So I'll have to deal with that trapper on my way back. gonna be scary. Well, I knew it. I just knew it. Every time. Okay, as, as long as this is the only trouble on my room, on my run, I'm sorry, I'll be okay. Alright, that was a pretty fast one. I'm gonna lose like 30 seconds at most. Still sucks. But yeah, I can still PB with one trapper. Not two. Or probably with two even, but it's not gonna be a good PB. I I'm not gonna feel good about it. So 
on this cutscene right here, uh, you see, I think there's two kinds of cutscenes in this game. Uh, on some of them, you your character is still moving in a sense, like the, you can see the idle animation of your character is still moving. Whereas there are other cutscenes where your character gets like completely froze in place. And so my theory is that you can cast, you can sneak some like a spell into the cutscenes where you are still having the idle animation but you can't do that on on cutscenes where you are completely froze so on that last one uh you're completely frozen that one. so there's really no way to sneak a a spell there unless maybe a frame perfect one maybe i have no idea but not a reliable one like the ones you can cast on uh, room barriers, for instance. And I forgot to equip the torch again, like always. I got to equip that when I when I used the what's it called? The key. I know I didn't have enough magic to cast a, a 5 pool there. That's why I manually cast a 3 1. Yeah, I'm on the way. Yeah, and actually, a 3 pool is just enough. It lasts 1 minute. And that should be a ride to reach the end, I think. Am I giant? Yeah, I'm, I'm giant. That sucks. No. This isn't really happening! like insta karma burn the zombie and then get cut actually not that bad I expected like 40 seconds lost I'm, I'm kind of impressed Peter. The war to end all wars redefined how mankind. Oh. 
My god. That was a really bad move there. I'm not used to that camera. Sneak a little bit here. So that way you don't need to cast any pools. So we have the, the tutorial. And there's some blood falling from the ceiling. Alrighty. I was pretty good. That was pretty fast. I like it. So whether the bone teeth appears here or not, it's kinda RNG. It didn't appear this time for example. There's nothing I can do. I think. Like maybe it depends on your position, but it's it's way too precise to actually control it, I think.
I sneak a little bit there. Because on my last run, I got caught by that trapper. By that specific trapper. Because I was running. I gotta say, I'm not jealous of your winter. Because <laughs> even when I don't like the summer, I also don't like to like freeze myself. I'll be on fall or spring the whole year. I like those average, average temperatures. But yeah, right now, like I said before, the only reason why I'm streaming at this time is because I just can't stream on the afternoon because my room is too hot. Like, I, I will be sweating so much. And I can't just put a fan behind me because the, otherwise the, the sound of the stream will be completely ruined. Fuck you. I'm always so close. I knew it. I actually knew it. <laughs> kind of forget about it. My god, no. Okay, this is as bad as might be. Steel. That was so bad. Still a really bad fight. Like really bad. I can say like a minute or more on this split. Like more than I'm going to say right now.
So yeah, those 50 seconds were actually only menuing, like good menus on doing the spells, nothing else. Because I got a really bad fight just on, as I'm, as it might be. So Aurora, actually how low is your temperature right now? Kinda curious. Inside or outside? Uh so we both. Why not? Gotta get out before I can burn it. <laughs> A legacy of darkness. Okay, so it's pretty good inside. 18.5 celsius that's a lovely temperature for me two celsius outside oh jesus that's pretty cold <laughs> Why am I going there? Oh no, Edward's gonna be tired. Yeah, I wouldn't like to be outside where you are. Also, which time is there? Because I'm guessing that's like not the the lowest you can get there. Just guessing though. Going to get colder next week. Okay. Vampire, here it comes. <sighs> that was pretty good. So to save a little bit of time, I just do a three shield there instead of a 7 shield even while I have the 7-1 binded Okay, 
either going to rain or snow on Christmas. Yeah. You know, everyone freaks out when I when I tell them that I've never had a snowy Christmas in my life. Because it's it's summer here on Christmas. It's kind of funny. Like in the south in the US. <laughs> but yeah, here is like you get a pretty hot Christmas actually. Alright, so I was counting there because if I count there I can get this Chatorga pool pretty optimized for later. I uh, I still play like a couple of seconds safe. Just in case, because that cutscene can destroy, can cancel your your spell. So you have to be sure to to do it that that spell ends before the cutscene. Otherwise, it's pretty bad. So that way we have this Chatorga pole to run a lot. And I think you can save about one Chatorga pole in the entire chapter doing this. Not entirely sure. But it should save some time. Welcome to Insanity, we're gonna have weird noises for this entire chapter. So buckle up my friends. Either that or mute the stream. Yeah, we start with number two. Yeah, that was a good decision actually. 
it was a nice bet because there were two travelers near and another one in my way so it was like the worst traveler positions Yeah, right? Like, for some people that's kind of a bad thing, but I actually like that. I like that too. Because I feel it goes pretty well with the cinematic, like kind of cinematic view of this game. Even while it can mess a little bit with your movement. I think it's good enough. Oh, it was 9 before, whatever. I'm gonna do a 9 later. Doesn't matter too much. That's why you don't do this part before. I mean, I guess you can do it and don't lose time, but you should do the attack before the dispel. When you do nine first, you do the dispel before. I guess that's the, the thing. So I'm probably gonna lose some time in this chapter. Not a lot. But it's not gonna be a bowl, I guess. Another scary trapper here. Let's see where it is. Okay, that's a good position. Still need to see where it's gonna be on the way back. this road I think it can work like doing 9 before 8 I mean 8 before 9 I'm sorry I feel like I, I can save more time because of the distance Fuck. time to do 3 Chair is vibrating. Oh, <laughs> I didn't knew that that was noticeable. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's because of my tuck. Because I I tend to move my my legs 
when I'm playing video games. <laughs> but I didn't knew that that was noticeable <laughs> on stream. That's kind of funny. Yeah, it's either that or an air earthquake. Which can be the case, by the way, because I live in Chile. I tend to have earthquakes every decade, maybe. I haven't had one in a while, though. I mean, myself. There has been some earthquakes in different parts of Chile. In BTR. <laughs> you have BTR? Yeah, it's it's not the best. So for those who don't know, BTR is an internet service in Chile. Very wide use. ISP exactly, yeah, that one. I used to have BDR like years ago and I had it for a long time I gotta say at that time it was pretty good but there was some point in time where other services just got a little better and it also depends a lot on where you are like specifically uh, in which part of Santiago you are I guess For some people it works good, for others it works like garbage. It's really weird. And before... Yeah, but I heard that VDR is not very friendly with Twitch. Twitch specifically is very weird, but a lot of my friends that have BDR uh, can't really see stuff on Twitch like consistently. Flower District. Yeah, same same thing here. Like at the end of the day, it's, it's almost just luck. There's not a lot, a lot you can control on internet services here. Like I, I think I'm pretty lucky myself for being able to stream. I have claro. Yeah, I would say Claro works pretty well on my district, which is San Miguel. Can't really tell how it works outside of there. How much upload? I think I have 10? Well, up to 10. It's not always 10, of course. It's San Miguel. San Michael. <laughs> I 
that one. I think it's 10, 10 megabytes upload, but it's not always 10. That's like what they put on the thing. So 10 is like the maximum, but that doesn't mean it's gonna be 10 always because they are cheaters. Sam Michael, yeah, Saint Michael. <laughs> Oh my god. I failed two poor cancels. And this chapter is finally over. Oh, almost. Almost finally over. I'm gonna be done with this in less than a minute. So for you to know, three pull lasts for one minute, five pull two minutes, and seven pull three minutes. Whereas three pull is about three seconds of casting, I think, and the others is like one second per run. So five seconds and about seven seconds on seven pool. All right. Yeah, that's very similar to me. I think I have upload of 10 and download of 50, 50. If I'm correct. How much I pay, I don't know. <laughs> Cause, fuck. Um, it's like a, it's a plan. Because my family have other stuff too. They have television and, and phone. Yeah, there's still people using house phone. <laughs> so I don't really know exactly how much it is. Now you're tired. Way more tired than normal. Whatever. I can't believe it. Every single time. I'm gonna play it safe this time. Every single time I fail that. In my view I fail it twice. So I'm fine with failing one. But come on. No cable, no phone. 90 dollars monthly. That sounds nice. Wherever disaster and death lurk. Yeah, like if, if I will leave alone, I will only play internet. Because I don't see TV, like, ever. I stopped seeing TV a while ago, many years from now. And I only use my cell phone, and even my cell phone, I barely use it. 
Don't like that trapper. It's way too close to the middle of the room. Not could have been worse. Modeling for my cell phone. That's a lot of money. I mean, for me, because I barely use mine. I think I pay about 20 bucks or 25 bucks at most. And I should pay less, actually. Like, I never used what, what I have on my cell phone because I barely use it. Your brave friends say a lot. <laughs> I see. Don't like that. Trapper. Alright. Don't get caught by any troppers. And we can do a nice thing. Trappers on my way. Okay, I need to activate the other one. That was so close. That was so scary. <laughs> didn't cast that. Oh, that sucks. Alright. At least it wasn't a very expensive spell, the one I needed. But I'm probably gonna be out of magic for this. I can do a five. No, let's do a seven immediately. It's just worth it. Whatever. Come on. 
like another option would be doing a five shield. And then a three shield. But I wasn't very sure about that. I probably have to test that on practice in case I made that mistake again. There aren't really any good plans from the US. You fucker. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, well, my plan would be, my phone plan would be way more expensive if I use internet on my phone. But I have a very old phone. I only use it for calls and like messages, text messages. Epic, and I'm already losing time. That sucks. What's going on here? What's going on here? Oh, fuck you. There it goes. There goes my time save. Because of a misclick. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Whatever. My last fight is bullshit. So this is not totally over. I'll say I can even say a minute in the last fight. Yeah, I know. I, I learned to survive without GBS. It's not the most comfortable experience because I, I had to to watch all the directions before leaving my house. Kind of get used to it. But yeah, it helps a lot having GPS. Okay, light, light puzzle was already better, so I'm already saving time. is pretty far bar. I believe you. I forget Mantarok. Fuck Christ. I think it's over. How did I forget Mantra? No, fuck you. That is such a time loss. This run sucks.
Alright, just play perfect. And right, you can still PB. Or at least get a gold. I'll be okay with that. Yeah, old why not? I still want to But I'm happy of hearing old Yod's voice. It's fine. Okay, number eight. We gotta go right for tier. Has seven dispo. Get rid of my shield. Has another one here. Using the hump struck. We've got an extra attack there, I think. Okay, number four, there's a trapper here. Pinch it. So I'm gonna need to sneak. enough to do um, damage boost, so whatever. Number two, right twice. Or left twice, actually. Any side twice. Trappers, that's a good trapper, that's a bad trapper. And this road is thought in a way where we have to cast shields or cast certain spells um, regarding the stamina we have like when we cast the spell matters in terms of when we're gonna lose our stamina so we don't have to sneak or do extra pulls okay, can I cheese this trapper? probably not That's 
probably slower than a magical attack, but whatever. Time to see. How's it going? You have this game, but never play it. <laughs> Be sure to play it someday, it's pretty good. One of my favorite ones. And probably my fa favorite horror game. No doubt about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm right at the end, so you're gonna get like massive spoilers from here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of time. <laughs> but yeah, it's still definitely one of those games where even if you have uh, some fuck, some spoilers, the game's still good. Because this experience is pretty good. I'm gonna lose some time here because I didn't pay attention to the element of that trapper. And summon skills are one of the most expensive ones. Seconds lost there because of one misspell. I just hope that my Ulja pool is fine. It should be fine. It's a seven pool, so it lasts three minutes. Why we got we won Ulio pool is because it optimized that part on the summon and we can link it with this part where you have to bind one or two hours 
and that also takes a lot of magic. I actually like that not being symmetric. <laughs> but yeah, I can I can see that triggering symmetric people. I started to think that maybe I don't need a 7 pool here, maybe I'm gonna be okay with a 5 pool instead, it's a little bit faster. And this is the last heal. And it has to be the last. You really want to go into the last fight without shields. Like without any shield. Because otherwise, the last boss is going to do a dispel on you. And you're gonna lose a lot of time. Fuck. Yeah, right? You know, I think I hadn't even thought about that. <laughs> like, I played this game when I was young. I had this game so like interiorize in, in myself that I didn't even like realize how quote unquote weird is to have vertical bars instead of horizontal bars. It's kinda weird. graphic designer uh, I do s some design though so I feel like I should pay more attention to that like I, I, I normally pay attention to some stuff on newer games that I play just because I, I do that part on the video game that I'm developing right now the design and art part that's weird <laughs> wanted to do a damage boost whatever Alright, I don't know if I can PB from here. We'll see. I'll be okay if I don't PB, because I have some goals. Okay, I'm not gonna look at chat during the battle. Because... 
I think I can PB if I got a good battle. That's risky. Don't like this damage. Where you at? Really? I need to stop doing vertical attacks with Paul. Sometimes I feel like they just don't work. Shield, amazing. I mean, uh, field. Oh, you're so far away. That sucks. And we're bot. This is the final battle. All right, it's fine. <laughs> we're bot injured. That's so funny. There it goes. Fifteen. Look at that. One minute just because of the last battle. That's crazy. Nice. It is finally over, my dear. The ancient's plans are finished. For now, at least, you have proved to be an incredibly courageous young woman. Your mother and father would have been proud of you, just as I am. I'm sorry it had to be like this. It's not quite the inheritance I had in mind for you, but there was so little time and so much to do. Goodbye, Alex. I will miss you. GG's. Where emptiness had been, new knowledge now seeped inside. Something happened then. I realized that I was not the only one, that there were many others like me. In other places, I'll be back in a minute. The universe is gonna get some more water. Fighting the same fight. All 
to serve the needs of the great ancient and to have my world spared from eternal darkness. And so it comes to pass. Of the three ancients, there is nothing. The mighty Chaturga has there obliterated the insanity of Zenotar. The madness of Zenotar has overcome the power of Uliauth. The boundless Uliauth has decimated the power of Chaturga. All at once, separate and simultaneous. For the universe is made of many time streams, many possibilities, all in harmonious synchronicity. Only Mantarok remains, slowly dying. Mantarok, keeper, overseer, warden of ancients, chaos, an entity trapped between the veils of reality and the enchanted stakes that impale Unable to rally its guardians, it could rely only on its subtle manipulations of the Roiless family to destroy its enemies. Knowing the nature of the ancients, it used its pawns to play them against each other, resulting in their mutual annihilation. Now it will languish forever, festering in its tomb. Yeah, exactly. Aurora. It's, it's pretty self-contained. Like, the, the only thing... So you see, uh, right at the end, um, you notice, like, after I killed the last boss, there was some kind of um, gameplay at the end. At that part, what happened is that... Okay, so uh, this enemy of yours it tried to summon uh, a very ancient and powerful creature and the only way for you to stop it is summon another powerful ancient creature <laughs> that counters that one so at the end when you beat the final boss Alex has like the realization that now her ancient creature is going to destroy the universe <laughs> instead of the, the your enemies one so right at the end the uh, her grandpa does a, a little change on the spell and that way they they get that creature to self-destruct so in that way if that last event never happened uh, you can kind of have this quote-unquote bad ending and you can kind of make a sequel out of that which would be some kind of post-apocalyptic cosmic horror where the universe is slave of one of these three creatures, I guess. <laughs> That's the only way I can think of a, a good sequel in terms of plot. Everything else, I think, it's just not gonna be good in terms of plot. But yeah, so, what can I improve here? Uh, let's see. I I got a trapper. Where did I got the trapper? I I actually don't remember. So I got a trapper somewhere. Uh, I think it was the Forbidden City. Yeah, on Roberto's chapter. So that means I can save around. 40 seconds there, more or less. So it's gonna give me some 15. Then I lose a lot of time, Kareem. I guess like 30 seconds. Um, okay, that's gonna be around 14. Then I lose some time. Where else? I lose time on Michael. Another 30. 
So it's gonna be 14. And then I'm still like 30 seconds above second place. <laughs> so yeah, I, I I need to have like zero mistakes. And I still need to optimize some stuff. We're looking towards it. Uh, I'm still hadn't reached my my goal, which is sub fifteen, two hours fifteen. That's my first goal, and after that, I depending on how I feel about that run, I'll see if I can go for war record or not. Because if, if sub fifteen feels already too optimized, I know we'll see. I also want to do Mantra percent, just for fun, which is the other category of this game. It's basically doing the same stuff as any percent, but getting an extra rune in your way, which is uh, not mandatory to beat the game, but it grants you extra power, but it takes a lot of time to get it, so 